Welcome back. In the last few steps, we looked at different features of PyCharm. We looked at how to debug programs. We looked at different tool windows which are present in PyCharm. And in this step, we would be looking at a number of tips related to PyCharm, number of shortcuts related to PyCharm. You might be wondering, why are we focusing so much on the IDE PyCharm? The answer is very simple. At in 28 minutes, we think great courses not only teach you programming, but also enable you to be a productive programmer. And a big part of being a productive programmer is making the best use of the IDE. Let's say you're working on a Python project. What would you be using for most amount of time? It's your IDE. And if you're good at using your IDE, then you'll be really, really productive. And that's the journey we would want to kickstart by showing some of the important features of PyCharm. Let's start with some of the important shortcuts in PyCharm. Let's say I'm on this line and I would want to see the code of print multiplication table. Imagine that this is a big uh, thousand li line file and you'd want to see the code of the print multiplication table. The shortcut is Control B or Command B. So if you press Control B or Command B, you would see that we would go to the definition of the line. So let me just give a lot of empty space just so that it's clear. So Control B or Command B, just type it in here and you would start going to where the method is defined. The other way to do the same thing is just do a Control or Command and click the line of code. So once you press Control or Command, and hover over any line of code, you can click on it. So you can click on it and you'd be able to see the definition. You can see that print multiplication table has parameters, table, start and end. And you can click it and you can go to the method. This is very useful when you are writing code. If you want to see the code for a specific method, all that you need to do is command or control and click it or use the shortcut command B or control B. If you're on Windows, Whenever I say command, you should try and use control. Command is something which is specific to Mac. Most of the shortcuts that use command in Mac are replaced with control in Windows. So if I say command J or command B, then on Windows, it's control B. All that you need to do is click the control button and press the alphabet B. The other useful shortcut when you are doing anything in PyCharm is when you type in any code, you can press control space. So if you press control space, then you'd see a list of options that you can use. So you can see when I type in print and press control space, you can see all the elements that might be the candidates for now. So I can see that there is a print method I can call or there is a print multiplication table method that I can call. I can choose any of them and I can type it in. So if you see it right now, it's suggesting me the parameter. So I'm saying nine comma, the start is three comma, end is five. So I would want to print the nine table from nine into three to nine into five. The shortcut is control plus space. The other important shortcut is control J or command J. If you type in command J, then you can see a number of inbuilt templates. So instead of writing the code fully by yourself, you can use these templates. So if you do a control J or command J, you can choose, for example, if I want to type in a for loop, I can choose I trade. So it would print the basic template. Then I can say for I in range one, two, two. Or the other thing I can do is, let's say I would want to execute this line inside of for. I can, I can do a control J or command J over here and choose iterate and you can see that that line becomes part of the for loop. Let me do it again. What I'm doing is I'm putting the cursor at this line and pressing control J and I am choosing iterate. You can now loop around this. So I can say for I in range one, two, three. So this would execute two times. The other useful shortcuts are related to tool windows. So let's say I don't want to see the project tool window. I can press Control 1 or Command 1. 
and you can see that it disappears control one or command one and you can have the entire screen for writing code once you would want to start using the tool window press control one or command one again and project tool window would appear there are similar shortcuts present for run and debug windows as well the run window shortcut is control 4 or command 4 so you can see run window appears disappears appears disappears control 4 or command 4 and the corresponding shortcut for debug is control 5 or command 5 control 5 or command 5 the other useful thing that you can do inside pycharm is list to do's in python any line of code which starts with a hash is called a comment so what happens is if i put a hash here in front of this line this line of code is no longer executed so let's try that so let's put hash in front of all these lines of codes so i'm just putting a hash in front of these lines of code and if you run this right now you'd see that only the five table is printed nothing else is executed because this is called a comment a comment is typically used to tell something about what you are doing inside the program so over here i can say i'm trying to print multiplication table phi so typically you'd put the comment before the line of code so this is a comment explaining that i am doing something typically your comments would explain why you are doing something if the code that you are writing is a little difficult to understand you might write a few comments to make sure that other programmers are able to understand your code you might also use comments to explain why you are choosing certain options maybe you have three or four options and you chose a particular way of writing the code you might put a comment saying why you took that specific approach and why you did not take some other approach now that introduction aside one of the things that you can do as part of your comments is add to do's so you are writing a program and you would want to make sure that you don't forget something you can put a to do as part of a comment just put a hash to do colon and you can actually write a to do for you in here so i can say to do make sure i learn about if let's say that's the to do let's say i'll add another to do inside the hello world as well make sure that i learn about for in depth once you have a lot of to do's in your programs you can see all of them in something called a to do window the shortcut is control 6 or command 6 and once you press control 6 or command 6 you can see all the to do's listed in here you can see that in hello world.py there is a to do and multiplication table there is a to do this is very useful when you would want to remind yourself to make sure that you want to do something and if you want to look at all the to do's then we would use the to do tool window so the shortcut is control 6 or command 6 the next shortcut we will look at is called control 7 or command 7 if you press control 7 or command 7 you'd be able to see the structure of a program so you can see what are the methods which are present inside that specific file so if you have multiple methods you can see the structure inside that the structure view allows you to see all the methods you can directly navigate to a specific method and all that kind of stuff you'd see that the structure view would be very useful to us when we write much more complex files typically when we talk about python code files you'd be talking about a number of methods being present 10 or 15 methods being present in a single file so the structure view would help us to navigate through all that stuff the last shortcut that we are going to talk about is control shift a or command shift a if you press control shift a or command shift a a search comes up and you can type in what you want to do and you can execute that specific action so let's say i would want to run the program i would type in run and press enter and you can say that the program runs so it's command shift a or control shift a let's say i would want to debug i type in debug and enter you can see that now we are inside the debug mode if you want to comment this line of code control shift a and say comment and you'd see that that line of code is commented 
actually the shortcut to do that is control slash or command slash so you can just press control slash or command slash and every line would get commented and IDE can make a programmer pretty productive and we wanted to show a little bit of magic around PyCharm for you if some of these things were a little difficult for you does not matter at all I'm sure by the end of this course you would learn all the shortcuts and you would be able to understand everything that we looked at in this specific video about PyCharm. In this section, we gave you a big picture overview about PyCharm. We ran our first Python file. We looked at a few different features about PyCharm, tool windows, shortcuts, and other stuff. I'll see you in the next section. Until then, bye-bye.